Bye. Thank you, Grace. Uh, that concludes your certification okay. uh, for today. Do you have any questions for me or for the rest of the trainers? Mm, not so far. Thank you so much for, for this opportunity. Thank you, Grace. Hey, good afternoon, Grace. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for sending your applications. And again, this will be your certifications. And again, uh, we, were, we are looking for uh, one of the best uh, virtual assistants to join our, our team. So let me uh, present to you uh, Clint and Rowan. They will be the, the, the trainers that will certify you today. Thank you. My Hi, Grace. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? I'm good. Oh, quite Thank nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be. Actually, we encourage you guys to be more, you know, confident throughout the certification because, uh, of course, we've been there. <laughs> so we, we do. We fully understand. Just uh, for me, just relax and uh, just keep it uh, conversational. All right. So um, my first question <laughs> for you will be: um, Tell me about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is Mary Grace Harina, but you can call me Grace. I've been a customer service representative for eight years. First is I'm with Voyage a la carte. If you know, it's it's actually a travel agency uh -huh. that is based in Canada, but we used to cater different airlines all over the world. So I'm a travel agent there who used to assist uh, customers with their flight reservations, modifications and uh, cancellations, adding baggage allowance and seat allocation requests using a GDS. So uh, after eight months, uh, I have been upskilled to be an SME um, and we used to assist newbies and guide them till the time that they are ready to take in calls on their own. And after that, they've opened a position for um, an escalation team. Actually, it's a pioneer account. That's why um, it's growing too fast. So after eight months again of uh, being an SME, um, I've been upskilled once again as one of our escalation team. From there, we used to handle escalated cases and accept supervisor call from C1 support. Then after four years of working on that certain company, um, I decided to, to try being an airline a representative. So I applied to a certain uh, company that is currently hiring that time to be an airline representative. And the name of the airline or the account is Scoot Airline. So um, I'm an airline representative for a year. And then after that, I have been upscaled to being an L3 or tier three. In L3, we are the one who's communicating directly with the client. So if uh, there's uh, something that uh, the, our client wants us to do, they'll be sending us an e email. And it's also our role as well to, to send an EOD report uh, directly to the client. So I am working with Scoot Airline for two years, but uh, unfortunately the pandemic started and most of the travel industry uh, and the airline had been affected so badly that time. The that's why our client uh, pulled out the account and um, all of us were from that certain account where we trench. So I don't have any choice but to find a, a new job and try a new account. Although travel account is really my first love because I, I need to find a new job. I tried a different account, which is um, next. My actually next account is United Healthcare, which is one of the biggest health insurance in the US. I'm a healthcare advocate get there who used to assist policy members with their benefits and eligibility, calling out providers about claims. And I also have been uh, with uh, the provider services as well, who used to assist medical providers with the members plan benefit information and checking if a certain uh, procedure code needs to have prior authorization and will be covered under the members benefit plan before they give out the services to the policyholders. And uh, furthermore, I also have an extensive training with uh, an agency working on a real estate company about the generation, um, qualifying leads from expired listing and for sale by, by owners. It's a short training though, but I can say that I really learned a lot from them because from there they um, presented us the tools that um, a, uh, a real estate virtual assistant usually use. They provided us the script as well. Uh, we, we did 
some MAC calls, actually a lot of MAC calls, and uh, they introduce us the process of buying and selling properties. That's great That's all. to hear. Yeah. That was a good start. Thank you so much. Um, uh, this, my second question will be, what motivates you as a person? I believe everybody's or majority's motivation, which is my family. My family is really my inspiration. I'm a former OFW, OF, just so you know, but uh, I, I use, I actually use not to disclose this experience on my resume because I don't think that it's actually related anyway to the position that I'm applying for. But back then, 12 years ago, I'm just a quiet person. I used to just always depend on my husband, but due to financial problem, my kids are growing. Um, I took the risk to to work abroad and left my family here in the Philippines. Uh, you can see me smiling. You can see me on my Facebook post, but that I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm happy with my friends, but I'm always asking myself, am I really happy? Is this really the right thing to do? And no one knows what I'm hiding inside because imagine the pain of leaving your family for work. It's really hard. So I always True. ask myself, um, um, is this really the right thing? I but I believe being an OFW is not easy. Anyway, I work there as a domestic helper, uh, just so you know. And I used to serve Chinese people, but I don't have any regret. Um, I'm proud to say that I'm one of those because, because of that experience, um, it made me stronger and made me ready to face new challenges in life. That's why I'm very thankful that I have been uh, given a chance to enter the BPO industry so I can work and be with my family at the same time and also to prove myself that I can do it despite of my educational background. I'm not just a, a domestic helper. That's, <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's the, that's, that's, a, that's a spirit, uh, Grace. Uh, actually, mm -hmm. I, I think you are a strong woman okay, as a person, as a mother. And um, based on the experience that you have, um, on the big bill industry uh, for some 